Hello, this is Pastor Don and Donna Long, and we're here with the Jewish Roots portion of Faith for Today. We're glad that you joined us. Donna, we were talking last week about our upcoming trip to Israel. Yes. And, and I want to keep us in that vein, um, yes. talking about it. You, the dates for that trip are going to be April 30th through May 13th. You know, people say, well, gee, that's two weeks. What have we found about uh, going to Israel from our people? This will be our our fifth group that we've led, yes. but we've been there seven or eight times. Um, we try to go every year, mm -hmm. but why, why is it uh, 14 days this time? Well, each time we go, they keep saying, we need to stay here longer. We need to stay here longer because you just, when you, when you, it's almost like you get enveloped by the place. And it's like, it is almost like leaving home. You know, everybody has a, has that transition they have to make when we're leaving. So they always say at the end, can we stay an extra day? Can we stay an extra day? Why don't we extend the trip next year? Extend it next year, you know, so it's, it's going to get longer and longer, I think, as the future goes on. So, th so this will be our longest trip that we, we've held so far. Uh, so far, and <laughs> in it, as a result, we we pull people's opinions that go on the on the group. We don't run a massive uh, trip, no. you know. I think uh, 20, 25 people is really about the maximum that we want. We all fit on one bus. That's right. We, we stay together. You don't get lost in a crowd. Mm. You don't have hundreds of people all. You know, and, and you can move more quickly through places. Right, and because that. we usually you know have 15 to 25 people. Uh, we get to see a lot more. That's right. Uh, we we'll sure do. we'll do maybe four, five, six places where another tour with a hundred people is only going to do two or three places, That's right. simply because of the logistics of getting, like getting people on, on and off. off the bus. Right? But when we did the poll at, at the end of last time, we said, okay, what did you like best? Uh, what would you be willing to give up? for our next trip and right. what we found out is people had very little they wanted to give up right. but they wanted to add, add more, more. and right. so uh, this year we will be leaving on Friday uh, April 13th returning Thursday 30th April 30th, uh, April 30th excuse yes. me returning on um, Thursday May, uh, May 13th yes. we've got a, a great trip and last week we were talking about uh, what we would be doing in the Shamron or the yes. West Bank, but it's really Samaria and Judea, yes. where we're going to visit uh, up to seven communities of people, That's get right. to meet the people who right live in there. With the people, we'll right. get to plant vines. Yes, we in didn't Samaria. mention that last week. Actually, I think this year we're planting trees. Trees. Uh, uh, last why year we, we planted that? almond tree. Almond tree. We planted why do we? Almond why do we plant that? Well, because it says that you're going to come back and you're going to plant vines in on the hills of of Samaria. It's a fulfillment. It's a of fulfillment prophecy. of prophecy. It, it most right. certainly is. And there are people around that will sell you a shirt that says that if you'd <laughs> like to know that you. But we do get a certificate saying that we have fulfilled. Pro we have been a part of fulfilling prophecy by going and planting the vines on the hills of Samaria right. and it's always a very meaningful thing because you get to go back actually and see those vines producing Vine later on. I mean, we have yeah. a lot of vines or trees. Almond trees. Last year was the first time we had almond trees, yeah. which was significant. And, and that comes out of the prophets. The prophets said not only are the people of Israel going to return to Israel, uh, and That's not right. only are they commanded to settle the mountains of Samaria. Right. I don't care what the UN says or, or our president says or anybody else says. God says that they are to settle the mountains That's right. of Samaria. And then it says, it says and you Plant will vines. plant vines and trees on the mountains of Samaria. So when we uh, we get there, that's right. one of the things that's we right. get to do in fulfillment of, right. of biblical prophecy. And that's we'll be to Shiloh. We talked about that last week where the tabernacle is. And I think we, we finished talking last week about uh, about going up uh, to Mount the Arbel, sea, overlooking the, the Sea of the Galilee. Sea of Galilee. Yep. Uh, hopefully, we'll have some pictures that will be interspersed in this presentation. Yes. My daughter Jordan's excited about being able to work those pictures in for you yes. to see. We are in uh, the northern part of Israel. Yes. Uh, we we didn't talk about the, the Golan. Right. We will go up yes. to the Golan. The, the so Golan. what is the Golan? Donna? The Golan are the mountains that all surround around the Sea of Galilee. On the, the northern on side. On the northern side, yes. Looking down. And it is, a, isn't it a, a bone of contention? Well, the, the, Golan? Go, the Golan Heights. And, and you yes. know, when whenever you hear people say, well, we ought to give the Golan Heights to Syria. My answer is you've never you've been never there. You've never been there. Because <laughs> when, in fact, historically, Syria controlled the Golan Heights, they use that height, which are really huge cliffs overlooking yes. the Sea of Galilee. They use that to put their artillery and shell down onto the Israeli settlement. Mm -hmm. So That's it would right. be absolutely foolhardy and to ever give the Golan Heights up. That's right. But the Golan they Heights won't be were, able to defend themselves. But, but typical up. of what people don't realize, that when Syria had the Golan Heights, uh, nobody lived up there. That's right. Uh, they, 
they were barren land. It was it was deserted land. There might have been a little village here, a little village there. But you look at pictures of the Golan Heights uh, before the 1967 right. war, and it was just a barren wasteland. Mm -hmm. You go up into those Golan Heights now, and as you come up, they're huge cliffs. And then when you get to the heights themselves, it's a plateau. Yes. And you can drive for scores of miles across this, this flatland plateau, and it's filled with vineyards, That's it's right. filled with wheat fields, uh, grain fields of all kinds, vegetable fields. Right. Uh, there are farming communities up there that have literally yes. developed the whole Golan Heights. It looks in many places like parts of our own Midwest where just right. lush crops are That's growing. Right. The land is flourishing under their hand. And, and, and it, it again, it gets into your senses that that we as Christians have been grafted into God's people. That's right. And one of the things the Bible tells us about God's people is that the land itself will respond to the people of God. Yes, it will. And so you get up there and you can see where there are Jewish settlers in the land. That's they right. farm the land and it just prospers. That's right. But wherever Islam is, you don't find that. That's right. The land will not produce. You can visibly see the difference. You can, you can you see. You don't have to know day. for a fact, okay, this is an Israeli, this is a, 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 a Palestinian. You, you just can look and you can tell the difference. A absolutely. So we go up there and we get to, uh, we get to see what the Golan Heights are. We okay. also go to a place called the Valley of Tears, which was where a great miracle happened in the salvation of Israel in modern history because yes. in the Yom Kippur War, uh, Israel was literally within 12 hours of being totally overrun. That's right. And by massive hundreds of numbers, the Syrians were driving their tanks across the Golan. And there's a place there where brave Israeli tank commanders stood their ground, uh, fought to the last man, and in fact saved the nation of Israel from destruction. That's right. And that's always a, a sobering place to, yes. to go to remind that Remind us that God's people uh, right. have always been under persecution. That's right. And so uh, we go up there, we go to a, an olive factory up there yes. that has the best olive oil in the world. That's right. It's Absolutely That amazing. was a very big hit with all the people. They re they, they've requested that we spend more time there. At year. the olive they factory. They really enjoy it. And you see how they make it and how why the, it. the way they make it is different than what you buy in the stores. Yeah. And just, a, and again, delightful. A uh, delightful young woman there who That's she right. and her family are the ones that started that whole business up there. And mm -hmm. uh, the Israelis are just so excited to have you in their land uh, to be up in that That's part. Right. So we will spend uh, a, a day up in the Golan. Yep. Uh, then we will, um, we will finish our time up there with, with places where Yeshua taught, where Jesus taught in that area. That's right. And then we come down... Uh, it's always a highlight. So we yeah. start out in Alone Marais. We start out where Abraham uh, received the call mm -hmm. from God that this is your land. Right. We then move into the area where Yeshua grew up, where Jesus ministered, the Lake of Galilee. We That's see right. all that. Yep. And then we, after uh, five days of being there, then we'll make our trip down to Jerusalem. Yes. And that's always a that's always a, a highlight. Mm -hmm. uh, there's just something special about coming into into Jerusalem. Yes, uh, it is a it's a place to be. It is that's the right. city of God. Yep. Uh, God said it is. In fact, if you read your Bibles, uh, Jesus is coming again. I do hope you know that. Yes. And the Bible says He is going to come. You know, He came the first time. And when you think about it, the prophecies, he's going to be born in Bethlehem, the prophecies about his life, right. about his death, about being born of a virgin, all those all prophecies have fulfilled. been fulfilled. Right. But there are three times as many prophecies, Donna, That's right. about his coming again, again as was prophesied about, about his, his first coming. coming. That's right. So if, in fact, all those prophecies about his first coming were true, then we know. Mm -hmm. that three That's times right. as many prophecies about him coming again, where he'll come, what's going to go. Right. That's and right. he's going to return to Yerushalayim, to Jerusalem. That's right. And there he will rule and reign as King of Kings and Lord of Lords That's for right. a thousand year reign. And That's peace right. will come to the planet coming out of Jerusalem. So right. Jerusalem is the city of God. That's he's right. not coming to America. He's not coming to Boston. Mm -hmm. He's not coming to Oklahoma. He's not coming to to wherever, uh, he's not coming to Rome, nope. but Jesus is coming back to Jerusalem. Right. That is 
God's city. That's right. And, and all the nations will go to Jerusalem uh, to celebrate the feast. It, it does say that, doesn't <laughs> it? Does it that, say that in the end times during that millennium, every nation for the Feast of Tabernacles right. will we'll make go. a pilgrimage That's right. uh, to Jerusalem. There will be a new temple built there. That's right. Uh, it's, it's really exciting. And, and once again, when we go to Jerusalem, we, we do things different. Yes, we do. Because our goal is to explore our Jewish roots and to connect with the people. The people you know, of the land. That's you right. know, Yeshua said, if you, if you love me, you'll love my brethren. If mm -hmm. you give a cold water to my brothers, you did it to me. If That's you right. feed my brothers, you... Mm -hmm. and, and his first brothers are obviously Our, the, Jewish the Jewish people. people. So when we that go... That is who he was referring to. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> when, when we go to Jerusalem, uh, one morning we like to go where? To the market. To the market, yes. Tell us the about market. the market. Well, there. the market is just, a, just a, a vivid picture of the way Israelis live day by day. I mean, they go to this market, there's fresh fruit and there's vegetables and it's just rows and rows of market, you know. It's got to be four blocks. There's it's got to be, be at least. Four I've never looked we'll to make roads. note of that. And, and just everything with you vendors. can think of, and whatever is currently fresh being harvested, and it's Fish. all that's always it's always whatever's currently Fruit. coming yeah, up. Right. It, that's what you can get. Everything, just rows and rows and rows of it. It's just amazing. Even in with it, the fish and, <laughs> and all that stuff. It's like it is a it is quite an experience, and um, it's a quite a delicacy for all of us to go in there and buy things from there. It's a good experience. It's a very good experience. Oh, I find that you're I, rubbing shoulder to shoulder with them because it's very crowded oh, too. Very you know? crowded, but you're you're right in there. You can buy fresh fruits like you've never had oh, them before, fresh goodness. vegetables like you've never had them that's before. Right. And again, that's something that, that most tourists don't do because they want to see sights, but but we want to see people. people uh, we right. want to see how they live. We want to get in, right. in in touch with with the roots uh, that are underneath that's us. Right. And that's, that's always right. a, a hit. I mean, we that's always, right. uh, I mean, and if it's you're into pastries, you sh maybe you shouldn't oh, be, but there's yeah, a lot right. of more pastries than yeah, you can right. think there. Yeah, right, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> it is a, a great place. Uh, we, um, but in visiting Jerusalem, there are key sites that we go to. That's Obviously, right. the, the Western Wall, which is the, uh, the, in that plaza, is the wall of the Temple Mount, oh, the yes. actual temple was up on Temple Mount. There's yeah. a mosque that is built there right now, mm -hmm. and uh, so the Western Wall is the closest that a that a Jew can come to the Holy, holy Place. Of holy. Yeah, the holy, holy and place. they have ex excavated over the years underneath uh, the wall itself, along the edge of the wall, down layers and layers and layers. So if you know anything about archaeology, when you're looking at a a city in the ancient world. There may be an earlier city under it and an earlier city under that. That's right. Out in the open, they've es uh, they've uh, excavated down to the actual street, street level that Yeshua, walked, that Yeshua on. walked on. The actual one, and that I mean that is the actual one that he walked on That's with right. the disciples. Same thing as the the southern steps. Right. That he and his disciples walked up those steps to go up into the right. temple, and it's right there. And and again, that's that's something uh, you know. Many tours will take you to visit this church or that church. <laughs> but Yeshua wasn't at that church. Mm -hmm. And in fact, the churches you're going to are built on, uh, you know, relatively most of them in the 19th century. That's and right. they're on top of three or four layers, layers of where the actual that's streets right. were. That's right. But we're going to take you to um, to actually walk that street section. So you can actually walk where so his feet walk. You're were. walking where his feet walk. It's amazing. And then we'll go through the tunnels. Mm -hmm. Again, something that doesn't happen for many groups. Uh, but, right. but we'll take you underground to through the tunnels that go yes. along that wall, and it is absolutely astounding yes, to see how yes, complex, how massive uh, and awesome the building of that, that temple was. And so that's a place that we go there. Right. It, it, it's always a hit. You it know? is. And then we, uh, we, we, we have time to, sometimes we visit the Temple Institute. Yes. Uh, we go to the Bible Land Museum, the so Bible we get Land to see Museum. how you... How people did enjoy that. That how Jerusalem energy. looked back in the time yes. of Yeshua. Mm -hmm. uh, we always connect with some of our Jewish friends there. Yeah, we do, and we walk along the walls. Along we walk the along the walls. Our, well, our tour guide said that he had never taken a tour up there because, mm -hmm. again, large tours, hundred people. That's right. Uh, it's just too complex. Takes too much time. But you know, we get up on the walls of the old city, and we can literally walk, walk around. Walk and you're looking down around. into the old city on one side, and over into the new Jerusalem on the other that's side. That's right. Uh, that that's quite a hit yeah, itself. It sure is. Uh, eating is just delightful. We uh, 
We all like falafels, falafels. for lunch. <laughs> uh, on our tour, breakfast and supper are provided at the hotels we stay in, but yes. lunch is on and our own. Those are quite a feast. Yeah, and, and lunch is on our own. <laughs> you but do not it, go hungry. We either get shawarma or falafels, or falafels. and uh, uh, in in our family, it, we could eat falafels all the time. We're That's there. It's right. A, it's a great time. That's right. Getting to meet the people, getting to find out um, how they live their life at peace. You're in Jerusalem, children running in the streets. Again, fulfillment of prophecy. That's right. The Bible says the day will come when the children will run in the streets of Jerusalem, That's and right. you can sit there and oh, you can watch yes. these little Jewish children running around, Abba, Abba, as they're calling out to their father. That's right. Uh, we get to meet. Um, some Jewish friends we have in the stores in there. The store, yep, uh, in Shor Sheen. People do ask if there's time for shopping. We do. We, we yes, don't have we a lot do. of time. We but go to we Ben Yehuda provide. Street. Yes. We, we go to Ben Yehuda Street and people can shop there. There, yeah. there is, there's, there's time in there for, for collecting things yep. that you would like to bring Absolutely. home. Absolutely. And in fact, in, in the Cardo, which is yes, in the in really, Cardo. really historic section of the, of the, well, old, it's the old city. city. Uh, you yep. go into the Cardo, there's kind of exquisite shops there, gift shops, jewelry shops, uh, painting art. shops. Yep, 